This is one of the items that we got from Taipei. This is the Hoop Coffee Brewer from Seado Lifestyle. I, I talked to a lot of friends um, regarding this dripper and all of them said that this is the laziest brewer ever. They actually call it the lazy brewer. You'll know in a sec when we actually brew with this thing. Let's open the box first. Here, this is the first edition. Um, Hoop Coffee Brewer. I actually wanted to get the first edition um, just because of the color. I really like the color. So when you open it, it looks like this. Okay. It's big. It's really big. Okay, to understand this brewer further, uh, we need to open it. It has a chamber that looks like this in the middle. And then you're gonna screw it here. The chamber actually has um, little holes that runs around the whole chamber, which goes inside this um, inner chamber. Right, so what you do is you put your coffee in this chamber and then this is actually the paper that comes with the brewer. Yes, it is the same size of the AeroPress. I'm not sure if it's the same thickness because with the AeroPress, you, you can actually apply pressure to push out the water through the coffee bed. But in this, in this scenario, we're actually gonna let gravity to do its thing. So we're gonna put the paper filter here and then screw this on top. Let's brew this coffee from Sucre Beans. This is one of the best um, coffee roasters in Taiwan. This is Colombia Quindio Finca Jardines del Eden Carlos Castillo Wine Yeast Honey Processed. Um, Sucre Beans, uh, they are, as I've said, they are one of the best um, coffee roasters in Taiwan. I met them actually, um, Sean and Ruby. Um, they're really nice people. They, I, I, I had fun talking to them. If you want to see that video, I'll put up the link here. But yeah, and I enjoyed, I really enjoyed their company. And they have really good coffee. All right. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna pour the water in this part only. Okay, just this part, up to 200 ml. And then we are simply going to wait it to finish brewing. All right, let's start. That's it. I think that's it. We're just gonna wait till the water completely goes down. All right. For the meantime, um, I'm gonna speed up this part of the process. So um, I'm gonna do a time lapse of this part. All right. I think we're done. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure where. I'm not sure if we can compare this to any other drippers because honestly, it is one of a kind. It's the only one in its class that feeds its own water to its own mechanism. The color is actually nice. It's very clear. Right, let me try this. Hmm, it could be better. The body obviously is very thin. But the flavor is intense. Wow. It's amazing how how you can get that. It's amazing how you can get that type of flavor 
when you simply you simply really pour the water and then let it go down I think we can I think we can my, my, my fear with this dripper is is we might not be able to grind finer to use this um, dripper but actually I want to test that out let's do another one Okay, for our second test, we're gonna use the same coffee, but we're gonna go maybe... Let's do maybe 16, 17 clicks. Now this is 17 clicks, okay. What I noticed with this dripper is we have quite maybe a smaller yield. Um, this brew actually, I think we only got for a 13, should be 26, 30. We should, we should probably get around 170 ml of yield for the first one, but we actually got maybe around 150 or 160 only yeah because this part right here the outer chamber um, there is for some reason it doesn't drain all the water all at all together there's always um, a bit left in there okay this is the second brew this is um, this is 17 clicks on the commandante and already it smells different and the color is different too it's a bit more thick it should have a better body oh yes yes it has better body but it's almost over extracted almost not quite yet but almost mm. I'm getting more um, cherries out of this it has more of that um, whiny um, quality um, i think i would very much prefer this the 17 clicks over the 20 clicks on the commandante so i guess you can actually go finer without choking this um brewer no the guy from musan if you remember that guy um, he said the way to improve your brew on this is by playing with your grind size so you start with a specific size and then if you're too like this, too thin, na it's too tea-like, then go finer. And if you are too bitter or too astringent, then go finer. That's, that's simply how you use this dripper. Again, this is hoop dripper. Um, this is what they call the lazy dripper. Um, I'll be using it more maybe if we do our mornings but yeah for now thank you so much for watching in the next videos i'm gonna show you more about coffee bye